All right, guys. Up next, we're going to take a look at QuickTime X or uh, QuickTime 10. Um, Apple's referred to it as both, and it's actually pretty interesting because the last version of QuickTime and Leopard was QuickTime 7, so they've actually jumped past 8 and 9 and just gone straight to 10. Um, very interesting, but uh, whatever, no big deal. So let me just launch a video here. Here we have a video, and as you can see, compared to, actually, let me launch the older QuickTime as well, QuickTime 7. And let me, let me throw that video into QuickTime 7 as well. So here you can see the difference right away. Same video, um, and this actually fits right in there, as you can see, same size. But uh, the new QuickTime X gets rid of uh, the separate bar on top and these controls at the bottom, because it instead has the bar here and the controls inside. So if I were to press play, so, what are you doing? Move. It's one of the first questions we often ask friends and family. Now, as you can see, when I move my mouse away, those controls go away. Move my mouse back, you get the bar at the top, you get the controls. Move the mouse away, gone. And it's very interesting because it's like almost like a uh, just a video screen within a screen, if you will. Just a floating video. As opposed to this one, where if I press play there, all that stuff stays. So uh, QuickTime X, obviously a little more sleek, a little more slick. Um, you can go full screen with it if you need to, like so. Go back out, make it bigger or smaller. Um, let's open a second video just to show you uh, that it can do that. So there we have another video. We'll hit play there as well. And there you have it. Let me close QuickTime 7 down. Okay, so another thing I want to show you about QuickTime X um, is that you can edit video, um, something that was only available in QuickTime Pro before. So you can edit video here. You see, you just go to the trim menu. Um, this was a QuickTime Pro feature that you had to pay for, but basically similar to the iPhone 3GS, you have a little trim bar at the bottom, um, and you just scrub to the area you want, and you can drag um, the beginning and end, as you can see here. And then if I were to press trim, it would uh, trim that clip and leave me with a shortened version. Um, the other thing you can do is share. You can share it to iTunes, um, which will let it be available to your Apple mobile devices um, and Apple TV. You can also uh, share it with MobileMe. And um, lastly, you can do it direct to YouTube. So here, if I just put in my YouTube username and password and hit sign in, I can get this video uploaded directly to YouTube uh, right here from QuickTime X. So there it is. QuickTime X. Very cool. Um, again, floats on your desktop. It's sleek. I think it looks good. Um, there's also a new uh, icon here in the dock, which some people have been complaining about. Don't really see what the big deal is uh, compared to the older one. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, so there you have it. QuickTime X, new in Snow Leopard.